Uh, George, this is Tanya. This is Warren G's ex-wife. I love rappers. You don't say. What are you attracted to, you know, with, with rappers? Like, what... Oh, gosh. To? Rhyming. Ever since I was a little girl, I've just always loved the rhyming books. And I think that's what it just translated into as an adult. I just like the rhymers. The artistry with which rappers create it... Sorry, I just, I get a little kooky around rappers. How do we get out of here? Okay. Well, yeah. Yes, I am. Um, Andy and I, you know, we have a very easygoing thing. Did you ever think for a second that this beautiful, amazing creature could maybe self-identify herself as a hoe? Watsky's a bitch. Yeah, um, you know, he needed some rhymes. He's a whack little white boy. I'm a little white boy, but I'm not whack, so I kind of fed him some bars. Wavy baby, you might ask what this has to do with Watsky. Nothing. I'm like, yo, I don't need to work with you, bro. You're like small potatoes. Like, he actually tried to pay me for rhymes in small potatoes. And I was like, nah, bro. I buy my own produce from the farmer's market. Oh! James Taylor's a goddamn G. He wanted to bang hot chicks, so he made beautiful penny drop in folk music. I was looking for a place to live, and I just happened to come across a Craigslist ad, and uh, after I followed up with it, it turns out it was George, and I was like, whoa, dude, I'm familiar with your stuff, and it just worked out perfectly. We were like, yo, it was kind of meant to be or something, you know? You're a goddamn marijuana Michelangelo, you know that? Well, let's spark this blunt and brainstorm. Yeah, you know, George, you know, yeah, he doesn't have much experience with the ladies, so I just tossed him a little advice here and there just to get him going, you know, and uh, he's been killing it. If you guys need somebody to be nude, I've been told that my penis is very telegenic. I hired George uh, when I worked at SF State to come and play our big uh, gala benefit. He helped me stand up to some guys who had been... Um, Dude, those dicks drew a dick on your face. When I passed out, I woke up and now it looks like I'm blowing a guy. <laughs> now I'm drawing penises on my face by choice. I mean, who knows, maybe one day I'll draw a vagina on my face. But, I mean, it's anywhere my imagination takes me because I'm doing it for myself. Like, if you just saw my penis, you would say, is that an Indian guy? But it's not. It's me.